The situation is still tense in Armenia over the detentions following Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan's visit to Sunik province on Wednesday. The locals did not allow him to enter their communities. Protests were held in various Sunik communities where the people called Pashinyan a traitor and a capitulator of land. Later, Pashinyan instructed to detain the organizers of these protests. On Wednesday night, nearly 50 people were detained from their homes. Protests were held Thursday evening near the building of Armenia's Prosecutor General's office in Yerevan. Protesters even threw eggs at the building. The clashes took place between the protesters and the police, and police apprehended dozens of citizens, and they were forcibly taking them, including the women. 14 people were detained on charges of violence. Some lawyers warned that those detained are being treated badly in the police stations. Goristan Deputy Mayor Menu Hosepian, who was released Friday, told reporters that he was indeed treated badly by the police officers. The respective footage posted proved that there were slight injuries on his face. The courts have released most of the detainees, arguing that the grounds for their detention are invalid. However, some of them have been charged with hooligans. Armenian Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan pledged to resign by the end of April ahead of the SNAP parliamentary elections scheduled for June the 20th. However, the exact day of his resignation is still unknown. The leader of the majority My Step faction of the parliament, Lilith Makunt, told reporters that she could not indicate the exact day of his resignation. There are reports from some analysts who believe that the prime minister is going to step down tomorrow following the Armenian genocide anniversary commemoration events. Some believe that he will not resign but cancel the snap parliamentary elections. The judicial farce against Armenian captive Ludwig Magurchian continues in Azerbaijan. According to Azerbaijani media, the court has extended his detention. He is accused of, and we quote, torturing Azerbaijanis captured during the First Karabakh War, end of quote. The Azerbaijani authorities have implemented the practice of convicting all captives who may have fought in the First Artsakh Nagorno Karabakh War in the early 1990s. Armenia's Labor and Social Affairs Minister Mesro Parakelyan has announced his resignation. In the post-war situation, I have taken on this responsibility solely for one objective, removing from the shoulders of our people as soon as possible the social catastrophe we faced as a result of the war unleashed by the enemy against Artsakh, he wrote on his Facebook. Today, we can record that Artsakh has overcome the social crisis and entered the stage of development programs and housing, in connection with which I express my satisfaction and consider the primary social challenges sufficiently overcome. The Russian Ministry of Foreign Affairs spokesperson has spoken about the opening of the so-called War Trophy Park in the Azerbaijani capital Baku. Russia hopes Baku and Yerevan aspire to achieve normalization of their relations, not discord, Maria Zakharova told reporters. When told that Baku is violating the agreement reached on November the 9th of last year by refusing to return all Armenian POWs, Zakharova stated that Russia is actively mediating to smoothen the disagreements between Yerevan and Baku and that the country supports solutions to the problems through the all-for-all -all formula. An alarm was made about a terrorist attack near the Blue Mosque in Yerevan. The Information Department of the Ministry of Emergency Situations of Armenia informed News AM that the alarm was false. And the Information Department of the Police noted that a report on the incident was being prepared. As of Friday morning, 750 new cases of the coronavirus were confirmed in Armenia, and the total number of these cases has now reached 212,114 in the country. Also, 15 more deaths from COVID-19 were registered, making the respective total 3,984 cases. The number of people who have recovered over the past one day is 1,123, and the total respective number so far is 192,281. 